In this video, we'll review red cell development. There are some key morphological changes that occur in the red cell precursors throughout their maturation. Similar to granulocyte development, the cell size and diameter become smaller with maturation. The nucleus also gets smaller in size and the chromatin condenses or becomes more packed. The nuclear to cytoplasmic ratio decreases and eventually the nucleus is expelled from the cell. Any nucleoli present are usually only visible in the early stages of development. Early on in development, the cytoplasm color is deep blue or basophilic. As the cells produce more hemoglobin, the cells transition to a purple-gray color and finally to a salmon pink color at the fully mature stage. Here I have two pronormal blasts next to my cursor. If you take a look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a magnified view of where my cursor is hovering over. Pronormal blasts are large cells compared to the surrounding mature red blood cells. The cytoplasm is a rich and dark blue. The cells are quite round as are the nuclei. There's fine chromatin in that nucleus and it's hard to see any nucleoli in these two cells but if they are present they would be seen in this immature stage of development. Next here we have two basophilic normal blasts. These cells are a bit smaller than the pronormal blast and though the cytoplasm is still a deep blue it's not quite as dark as the pronormal blast. The nuclear chromatin is starting to clump a bit and it's fairly uniformly clumped throughout the entire nucleus. Again, you'll notice that the shape of the basophilic normal blast and its nucleus is very round. Now there are two polychromatophilic normal blasts on both sides of these basophilic normal blasts. The cell size is progressively getting smaller but you'll notice that there can be a range in sizes since the one on the left is a bit smaller than the one on the right. Now there's further clumping of the nuclear chromatin and it's still uniform throughout the cell. You'll notice the transition of the cytoplasm color a little bit more now. Here it's more of a purple gray color due to the cell making and accumulating more hemoglobin. There are four orthochromic normal blasts in this area here. This is one, two, three, and four. This second cell here looks more like an early orthochromic normal blasts, whereas the other three are later in the ortho stage. Their cell size varies within this view, but overall they're smaller than the polychromatophilic normal blasts. Their cytoplasm is purple pink in color and the nuclear chromatin is very condensed or pycnotic. In some cells, you may see the nucleus located at the periphery of the cell membrane in preparation to be expelled from the red cell as we see with these two cells here on the right. After the orthochromic normal blast gets rid of its nucleus, the next stage of development is the reticulocyte stage. These are flat looking cells with no area of central pallor and slightly purple cytoplasm. So there's one here, one over here, and another one down here. The size of these reticulocytes are just a tad larger than the mature red blood cells. This is the last stage of erythrocyte maturation prior to the fully mature and functional red cell. And of course, the rest of these cells around here are fully mature red blood cells. They're quite small and they have an area of central pallor that take up approximately a third of the cellular diameter. So this concludes the review of the stages of red cell development in the bone marrow. Thanks for watching.